Dubbed an historic day for the city of Enid, dignitaries and local residents gathered downtown Wednesday morning for the opening of Enid Event Center, a project city officials are hoping will usher in a new era of economic development for the region. This community decided to invest in itself. This community has decided that we can be better, and this community has placed Enid on the map. Give yourselves a round of applause. You know, they, they took a step out there to build Convention Hall back in the 20s. And then you take a look at other cool things that have been done in this community, what the early 80s when all of a sudden Oakwood Mall opens up and everybody's going, wow, we're big time, we got a mall now and, and such. And now this generation has something to hang their hat on because this building's going to be a landmark. And I guess it's typical if you're going to build a landmark building, you're going to dedicate it. It may as well be 100 degrees and windy because that's northwest Oklahoma. And City Manager Eric Benson was eager to share some of the progress made toward growth and economic development with the grand opening crowd. I apologize because I'm a little preoccupied. This this event and this great ceremony was sort of in my in the background of the things that I had to do today, and I it, if I gave it a sort of a passion motion. I apologize, but as you see, I've got some things on my mind today. Today we close on the Homeland Building and we start construction of the TJ Maxx retail facility. And yesterday we met with the financiers of the uh, the reconstruction of the Oakwood Mall, and uh, they committed to uh, continuing the, the strategy that we placed uh, as one of our more critical ec economic development opportunities. That one I had was on my mind. And this morning I spoke to Lodgewell Group about the status of the hotel that's going to be constructed on the back side of the event center. So I apologize. I've just had some things on my mind this morning. Welcome. Come on in. John, would you dedicate this building for us? One, two, three. All right. All right. There were popcorn and drinks and a taste of the entertainment plan for the building. Cirque Musica, which features acrobatic displays set to classical music, will open on June 27th. A business expo starts things off this weekend in the event center's first public showing. A Gary Allen concert is set June 23rd. The message throughout the presentation was the same, one of support. Despite a failed vote for added funding for the center, which was paid for by city funds on hand, and some who, while impressed with the facility, doubt its ability to sustain a following, there was plenty of support from residents for the effort, officials said. And uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to the citizens of Enid. And uh, this building is yours now. It's for your enjoyment, for your use, for your recreation. And I hope uh, that you will notice a significant uptick in the quality of life here in Enid as you get the opportunity to use this building and enjoy it in the years to come. And, and you know, one thing I want to just say about the design uh, is that you can see on these uh, entry towers <clears throat> a lot of Art Deco detailing, and that is very intentional. It's intended to relate to downtown Enid, and I hope that you feel, as I do, that this building uh, relates to and is a part of the downtown and feels comfortable here sitting next to our beloved convention hall and uh, I hope that as the years go by that you just to become accustomed to feeling like this building is part of your downtown because that was what it's intended to be. So again, thank you for your trust and for this opportunity and enjoy your new building.